the social life. We invite you to join on my TV. Oh, get us on off. God's love to us mankind. God designed us to live and the Bible reveals that family relationships are important to him. But as a believer, maybe you still struggling with struggling at work social life. We am on my TV. Okay. Epitome of God's Bible reveals that you still struggling with your with your social life or oh, with your spiritual life. We invite you to join us on our family table talk every Saturday at 7:30 a.m. program is brought to you by the Ministry of Health and Medical Services, Shaping Fiji Health. A family is an epitome of God's love to us mankind. God reveals that family is important. Struggling at work? With your Oh, with your spirit. Why did you join us? TV. Or catch us on our Facebook page. He is an epitome of God. To us mankind. And the Bible reveals I am the struggling with your finance struggling at work with your social life or with your spiritual table talk air Facebook page. by the Ministry of Health and Medical Services, Shaping Fiji's Health. A family is an epitome of God's love to us mankind. God designed us to live in families, and the Bible reveals that family relationships are important to Him. But as a believer, do you feel that you are still struggling? Maybe you're still struggling with your relationship. Struggling with your finances? Struggling at work? 
with your social life or with your spiritual life we invite you to join us on our family table talk every saturday at 7 30 a.m on my tv or catch us on our facebook page Welcome to the uh, first Family Table Talk for year 2024 and uh, thank you for being uh, part of this program for the year 2023 and now we embark on to a totally new year and I believe that most of us haven't started working at us the other way around. Uh, still in the fest, uh, festive mood and uh, we would like to welcome you and say Andre Dimaka, Bolo Dimaka uh, to those of you that are here in Fiji as well as those uh, that are tuning in from abroad and whatever time difference that we may have with Fiji, we would like to uh, welcome you and say thank you. Well, the first thing that we must be grateful for that we have actually finally uh, arrived in 2024 because anything could have happened. Um, some of us didn't make it uh, past 2023. Uh, a few of our friends or a few of our relatives uh, didn't make it right through towards the end of 2023. But you, you must congratulate yourself and thank God uh, that uh, we have uh, reached 2024, that he has given us the uh, ability and also yeah. the uh, yeah, the blessing of uh, living another year that we always take for granted, but who knows, by the end of this year, how many of us wouldn't be here. And uh, that's the reality of things that we don't want to talk about usually, but we would like to say Bula Vinaka, Yandra Vinaka, Arna Yandra, Bula and uh, thank you for being part of this uh, program. Yeah, um we must thank the God uh, Almighty. We went through 2023. Some of us we go through challenges, mountains so high, sometimes the valley too deep, and sometimes crossing oceans that are very very rough. And arriving safely to another year, 2024. We are looking forward for another challenge of the year. Looking forward for the things that uh, mm. we planning to do that we have a great plan for 2024. We must think big and plan big. And uh, we are ready to uh, cross over and do what we're supposed to do. So for those of you in the village, we know that uh, we are ready to tackle another year. Yeah. For those of us in the urban centers, urban areas and town and cities, including those of you that are watching and part of this program from overseas, Australia, New Zealand, America, and wow. Canada, and those of you in Asian continent, European continent, and uh, those of you around the Pacific, we are ready to uh, tackle 2024, come what may, and we are ready to, to do the work. And uh, when we plan good, and I believe that uh, we will be given the, um, the challenges, the higher the challenges, the the strength that uh, yeah. we can tackle every challenges. For those of you that are <coughs> planning to migrate overseas, and those of you that are planning to uh, uh, to uh, find work overseas, maybe you already applied for your visa, you already got the uh, the sponsorship, and uh, you are getting ready. And uh, let's look forward for 2024. Uh, Look positive, plan positive, yeah. and wait for a positive result. And I believe that we can do it one, one more time. Uh, every year it comes always different challenges. And we need to rise to another occasion. Uh, as you have planned, uh, uh, a plan that uh, uh, you already planned for 2024, yeah. uh, we start uh, with a bang and we tackle it uh, as soon as we arrive. And don't wait until the Earlier that we tackle the plans, and, and the better for us. Because Twelve months is not uh, it's not long. Yeah. Uh, just like this last year, we we can just like looking back at yesterday. Uh, when we look back, it just takes five minutes, ten minutes, just to mm, to think and recount yeah. Yeah. what we did the last year. So the earlier that we do our plan, the earlier that we tackle as they come, the better for us. So we have enough energy, resources, and time as we approach the media and the late uh, next year. And uh, the plan for our children going back to school, this is a time that we must be already planning their uniform, their books, and uh, 
That's you know, it's one of those uh, <clears throat> uh, times that you stand still and you look back. Uh, a few of us may have regretted the way that we have lived on 2023 and a lot of things that we have may, uh, you know, drop the ball. Things that we have planned, like I always say, from the beginning of the year, we're so full of plans. And uh, most of us have got all our plans well written out, just like all other years. But most of those plans now, when you reach December and you look back, maybe only one or two, you carry them out. Uh, so the excitement uh, of the year, or the beginning of the year, it's always there, from a child right up to the adult, uh, regardless of the responsibilities that you have. But one thing that we would like to um, guide you, and we will try and work with you uh, every Saturday, is to uh, be uh, serious with your plan, be practical with your plan, be realistic with your plan, and uh, execute your plan at all levels, and try as much as possible uh, say in a, in a month or by monthly or in a quarter that you have worked towards achieving this plan. Other than just the excitement of, uh, you know, the, we can come and set you up, write your plan, you know, plan your life, uh, plan your year. And then we stop talking about it uh, throughout the year. And by the time we do, it's like on the eighth or the ninth month, which you haven't even done anything about your plan. So. The responsibility become yours because you are the one who writes the plan. But we will try as much uh, to work with you and to remind you uh, that you achieve this plan. And when you plan, there are plans uh, that you write down, you know practically that it can be done. And there are plans, you know, you write it down. It's like, you know, uh, uh, yeah, uh, like you're not sure whether you're going to achieve it or not. And that is why, like those other plans, uh, for those who believe in God, for those who, who worship God like we do, then that's when uh, your faith comes in. And uh, your faith will help you uh, achieve the plans or the, the targets or your achievements that you would like to achieve this year. That is fully well that you don't uh, have the ability to do so in the physical lesson. So as you write them down, uh, don't limit yourself. So you write down the things you know practically you can do, like do this, do that, do that. Like you know, okay, I can easily do that. And you know the ones like buying the house or buying a you know fully well, your salary is not enough to bring that to pass or um, you know, send your, your child to university or this kind of expenses. Some are really big uh, that your current situation or your current status cannot. So you write them down in another page as well or in another book. Try and get yourself a book uh, to do so, there's a lot of bookshops here in Fiji, a lot of uh, um, small different sizes of books. Uh, for those of you in, uh, in America, I got this book from Ross, that's about $2. And uh, one thing about the books they sell at Ro uh, Ross, uh, for those of you in America, it has some, you know, uh, inspirational uh, um, write-up on the cover. This one is Believe You Can. There's a lot of others. Most have got Bible verses on it. So when you get those books, um, and then you you will you know work around that book on the fr front page you have other things going and then you have the middle uh, part of the book and then you have the back part of the book so but you need a book you need a book don't just hold the book this week or in January by February don't know where you place that book uh, get a book that you know you can always carry it with you the size that fits in your bank or the size you can easily throw in your car or the size that uh, you know like you, it's not like you're carrying a Bible with you all the time or how big it is, but make it more practical that you can take it with you. I'm trying to give you guidelines so um, that you, we don't just write our list and being excited, but we write our list and we carry it with us and believing that all those things which you have written, it can come to pass. And uh, yeah, that time of year, you look back, some of us may have um, overspent, uh, some of us may be... Uh, you know, uh, didn't really think out the whole uh, festive season. And uh, we're still in the festive season, not until everybody else returns to uh, work and school starts uh, at the end of the month. And uh, some of us, by now, you are dry and out. Like there's no, no more money out there and you're trying to make do with the little things. Well, only look back and learn from it. Uh, this, you, you cannot uh, do anything about it. You are in that situation now. And some of us really manage well. Come this time, this this date, and yeah. today, uh, you still have some uh, something in your wallet. You still have some, uh, yourself, or, you know, finally did it. I managed to uh, uh, save some money in the.
midst of all the festivities, everything, party, merrymaking, I still managed to uh, save some, some funds. And, and this goes to all of us all over the world, eh, wherever you may be, because I believe uh, this uh, season uh, covers the whole world. Like everybody is doing something somewhere in another country. And um, some of us, uh, you always put up your house. That used to be me years back. I love putting up Christmas trees and all those uh, decorations. And, and what I do then, uh, not until we stop celebrating Christmas, so I take off all the ornaments. I pack them up nicely, label them, and take down the tree, put them nicely in the box because we don't use the real tree. We use the Christmas tree, uh, artificial ones. And then I always have storage to pack it. And by November, I usually put it up on the 1st of November. So if you are one of those who always put up your uh, Christmas tree and its ornaments, look through your Christmas tree, see the things that you can uh, uh, carry through for the next year, uh, things that can still last, and uh, pack them up nicely, label them, and store them somewhere uh, for your next Christmas. Because that way, um, it avoids you uh, buying, continue to buy uh, new decorations uh, for the year. And uh, also for those of you maybe haven't been at home, uh, you're still at your um, a parents' place or grandmother's place or in the islands, uh, still enjoying the, the moment. Um, well, continue to do so, but uh, at the back of your mind, know that the days are catching up. Uh, school will be starting soon. So don't leave all the thoughts for you to return and then bring it back and start planning yeah. that. Wherever you are, you can start your plan. Wherever you are, you can start projecting what needs to be done, certain week that these things uh, need to be achieved. So, you know, this morning is just uh, a reminder to all of us, uh, wherever you may be or whatever condition it may be. I, I believe for different countries, they've got different uh, a starting time or starting dates uh, for school. Uh, for England, I remember for Europe, as well as uh, America, I believe a little bit of it, that uh, for Christmas, like us in Fiji and uh, New Zealand and Australia, like it has uh, a bit longer of a break uh, for them. We can know what's the right level and the right in the singing so they can have a But for Europe, I'm definitely that September they go to their new year. Uh, August is a big holidays, and September, uh, in, within the year, if you're in class four, you go to class five in September, like the year changes uh, within the year. So come January, they only took the break for uh, public holidays during Christmas and New Year, and they are back, back at school. Um, compared to us in Fiji, it's like a long break. We enjoy the festive season. I think we are blessed. And then we go back to school. If I'm right, uh, the starting uh, week or the starting day for schools in Fiji, it's uh, at the end of the month of no, January. Uh, so, uh, you know, um, we have a quite uh, ample time on our hands. Uh, to be able to do everything, uh, spend our holidays, do everything that we wanted to do um, before we, we return to school. So just on those stages of um, life that you were in this morning and also your health, some of us break the rules by eating the food that we're not supposed to be eating uh, as directed by the doctor. Some of us are not feeling good uh, after abusing everything that is over the festive season. Like, it's like, okay, and, and now you're regretting uh, some of those uh, little decisions uh, that you have made. And um, so if you are in that uh, category, well, don't regret because you've done it. Uh, just stand up and correct it. Uh, correct moving forward. Uh, try and, uh, and get back to what you're supposed to be. I'm one of the culprit too. Uh, I did that as well. I'm allergic to five main things and I um, was directed by the doctor that I cannot take because I break out in rashes. And uh, one of them is milk and the second is uh, coconut. Anything to do with coconut. Lolo, anything to do with coconut meaty, and uh, the third is egg white, and uh, fourth is egg yolk, yolk. and uh, also the fifth is, uh, is prawns. Well, I wasn't a very good custodian of my health uh, over the few days. The ladies uh, who may be tuning in this morning because we were doing the serving uh, for our event that happened at the dome, 
uh, I've been breaking my own rules and uh, eating the things I'm not supposed to eat. But I always have my tablets on the side, which is the wrong way of doing things. And uh, like what I said, I'm saying something that I know fully well that I did it as well. So you may have, uh, for maybe it's for some, you can play around with it. Uh, but for some, you cannot because it's life threatening. And uh, whatever situation that you may be, uh, try and rethink. Uh, you you congrat congratulate yourself that you have finally come out of 2023. You are now in the new year, 2024. So what's going to happen for the year? You don't really know. Uh, what will happen to your family? You don't know. What will happen to you and your husband or you and your wife? You don't know. What's going to happen in the workplace? Uh, you will never be able to say that. But the only assurance is for you to be positive, uh, do the, the right thing, and uh, yeah, live the right way and be with the... Uh, you know, in the right fellowship or in the right, uh, having the right people around you uh, that speaks uh, positivity and also uh, bring you positive vibes other than being negative or telling you or uh, um, tempting you uh, to do the things that you know fully well that it's not correct. Yeah. Yeah, we take this time to uh, thank everyone for beginning another year. Yeah. And we are looking forward for another year for, for us in the church. We just finished with uh, our youth symposium. And we must thank the, uh, all the stakeholders like Fiji Sports Council, the Suba City Council, and all the other authorities, the Rewang buses, the Soa buses, and uh, other stakeholders, the uh, Village Six, for accommodating our young people, thousands of them that they convert yeah. into the Voda, uh, uh, Vodafone uh, Arena for their six days uh, conference symposium. And uh, we uh, really enjoy um, what uh, was provided and uh, the help from, uh, from other people. Eh? So uh, we thank uh, every one of you that have been yeah. part of us when yeah. you are watching this uh, program online. Most of the program, we thank my TV for, and the crew, Chonati and them, for airing most of our program out Simpson. there and not forgetting Stanley Simpson all the way in Seattle, in the state of uh, California, uh, state of uh, Washington, uh, that you are enjoying your break at the moment. Uh, we take this time to say thank you for the time yeah. allocated. Uh, not forgetting for those of you in the village that uh, you are enjoying uh, the program, including the first uh, family table talk this morning on the 6th of January. 2024. Uh, 2023 now, it's called last year. How the timing and the month and the year start to revolve and it's uh, picking up. You know, the timing, at the moment, the timing is very short compared to, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, uh, it was to, uh, to us seems long when we finished with one year. But now, Maybe the technology yeah, and the, the time have just gone so fast. Yeah, we just I mean, just so yesterday fast. we were driving past uh, the Vodafone Arena and we looked at each other and they said, Why? And you know, just like this last week, we that opened. place was fully packed, jam packed. How the days have just gone so fast yeah. and within a week it's done. And then you're looking back, even the year as it starts, it's running out faster. Yeah. And, and which means that uh, we have. We cannot continue to live the way that we live in the previous years. We need to uh, catch up and uh, live with the momentum. We, we have to change as time changes. Yeah. If not, we'll be left behind. And, behind. and uh, it's a challenge to us because, uh, especially for us in Fiji, the uh, context of it, okay, that we need to be relaxed all the time. Malu uh, Eva. And we don't realize that the time, the, the world, yeah. the generation, is moving very very fast yeah. in a pace that we need to to catch up and uh, adjust our lifestyle our life and uh, our our family uh, if not uh, we will struggle along the way and we call it a left behind because uh, the time the mindset the be behavior around us our neighbors organization that we work with or we work in the government of the day very soon it'll be election time again after four years just like this last year we were just waiting for for the forming of the coalition government see the timing now it's already one year finished now so the the timing is is on a rate that we don't uh, mm. really understand that is 
we, we feel it is fast them. and yeah. something that we cannot control. We just have to get in and ride with it and adjust as we move along. Well, time waits for no man. Uh, now, since it's uh, the 6th of January uh, 2024, uh, the quickest, uh, fastest question you can ask yourself. For the first six days of the, uh, for the year 2024, what have we done? You know, what have we done uh, towards our year of uh, 2024? And that's, that's a quick check that you can uh, uh, do for yourself. For us, we actually have this uh, uh, youth uh, symposium, uh, as uh, he mentioned. We started on the 29th of December, we ended on the 4th of January. So we had uh, six nights and uh, seven full jam-packed days. And uh, it was great having this youth. And it's amazing, the different uh, walks of life, the different uh, uh, youths that have come in and together in different levels all together. Um, it was, I would say it was an experience uh, because as you not only teach, but as you uh, guide and uh, in the fiscal uh, for um, their billeting places to get onto the bus, uh, going on to the excursions. So they had excursions uh, as in uh, doing evangelism and uh, we have the uh, career path or the careers expo um, on the different teams on the rotational basis. And uh, we also uh, have uh, cinema uh, for them to go and watch. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the two great uh, movies that we have selected for them uh, was The Miracles from Heaven and uh, The Journey uh, to Beth Bethlehem. So. The experiences uh, that they come up, you know, like we have a lot of children that comes from the villages, come from the islands, and uh, the the impact in their lives and the experiences. I would say by yesterday we were having our family devotion at home, and one thing uh, that we were talking about: most of these children, most of these youth, when they return, they will be still talking about the impact it had uh, in their lives. And uh, and as you you know uh, interact with them, as you call them onto the stage. You can gauge the, the like just what uh, he mentioned today. You can gauge the the, the different uh, levels of uh, engagement, of exposure, of uh, understanding, and uh, like it's it's obvious. Uh, which means that uh, you we cannot be the same, or we cannot uh, class the youths to be the same. Um, their differences, I would say, uh, stems from the fact of a different upbringing, different exposures, and, uh, and it's quite humbling. It's uh, very humbling uh, just to be able to be part uh, of uh, this youth side for just a few days. And given that opportunity, I would say, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, it was an experience. Uh, we had nearly 2,000 uh, youth uh, that was out there in the dome. And for two days, we were joined by the Angel Avengers uh, with the ages of uh, 9, 10, and 11, because the youth took on the age of 12. And uh, even for the two days, uh, yeah, for these uh, young children, uh, the excitement, the yeah. energy, oh boy, you know, like it, uh, it's so overwhelming. And um, having that number of, uh, you know, 300 plus uh, children or that actually registered, and uh, just to see that excitement. And they come from different walks of life as well. Uh, as and when you take them lessons, as and well you have uh, their interaction with them. Um, you know, you I, ask, I actually ask them, you know, raise your hand because we were talking about loving Jesus, loving your mom, loving your dad. And uh, I was asking them, okay, raise your hand if you, you know, you're saying you love your mom and you love your dad. If you you have your parents at home, or you are with your parents. So I think really about 90%. And um, the next question asks, okay, raise your hand if you are with your grandparents or your aunties, your uncles, or somebody else is looking after you and you have some you know, hands uh, uh, raised up. I, I was told later, far later after the program uh, by one of the uh, coordinators that we had a little girl that was sitting there. And as I asked that question, she broke um, you know, into tears and uh, sobbing her heart out uh, that I didn't see. Uh, you know, just that reminder or just this question. And um, we got our people to ask, you know, the situation. And um, those are the things that are most of our children, they go through, that sometimes we are oblivious uh, to the fact. And um, going back to the church that we belong to, uh, we try as much, even when we had our global conference, we try as much to have programs uh, 
uh, their lives was, you know, was impacted somehow. Not just in generally just coming in to listen to the preaching every night uh, because you choose not to, you choose when to. But to create activities that will get them engaged and get them to understand. Because we can be preaching or talking about the same word of God here, but when you bring it down and, uh, you know, uh, practically physicalize it, by the time they come and be part of it, the teaching that we try to teach them or preach to them, uh, as they experience through it, uh, those are the things that will, you know, leave a legacy in their heart, in their life, that they learn faster or they take it and they own it. And so when they leave, they own that. And, and there was uh, something we tried as much to do it for our youth and it has been running uh, for the 